What's up, everybody? It's Adam from the Rogue Valley Family YMCA. I'm here today to show you a workout. The only equipment you need is a single dumbbell and a clock with a second hand on it. Let's see what we're doing today. All right, today is every minute on the minute exercise, a single arm squat snatch. You're gonna start with a wider than shoulder width stance with your feet. Squat down, grab the dumbbell with one hand. As you stand up in your squat, your elbow is going to bend just so you can keep that weight close to your body. You're throwing it up overhead, locking out uh, that weight directly above your shoulder, and then you bend your elbow to bring it back down to the squat. You're going to have a quick transition there at the bottom. You're going to do 10 reps on one side, transition to the other hand. Throw that weight up over your shoulder, trying to keep it close to your body, as I said. And the rest of the time that you have is for break. On to our second 10 minutes of movements. You're going to step back in a lunge. The dumbbell is hanging down in front of that leg that is stepping back. And then as you step forward in your lunge, you're curling the weight up to your shoulder. Trying to keep kind of a faster pace um, if you have a heavy enough dumbbell. This would be pretty difficult. So 10 reps per side, just again that quick transition is important so you have rest time before the next minute starts. And keep that pace going. Our last 10 minute round is going to be on the ground abdominal exercises. So when the minute starts, you're going to do 10 heel tap V ups. So my feet are going wide around the dumbbell, the torso and legs are coming up from the knee. 10 of those. You transition to an alternating oblique knee tuck, 10, 5 on either side. So you're kicking your heels past the dumbbell, bringing your knees to your chest and then driving them out. And then last is a reverse crunch. Pull your knees to your chest, trying to roll those hips up off the floor a little bit. 10 each of those. And then the rest of that minute is rest slash transition time. So the next minute after your crunches, uh, be up to reverse crunches. You're going to find a good plank position, hands under your shoulders, nice flat back. You're going to reach forward, tap the dumbbell five times with either hand, and then ten shoulder taps, alternating, and last ten knee taps, alternating, trying to keep as stable a plate plank as you can. Alternate every minute on the minute between seated and plank abdominal sets. Hope you enjoy the workout, everybody. Thanks for coming to the Rogue Valley Fan YMCA page. See you next time.